Peace, Shalom, to the elect of Israel, to the whole elect of Israel, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, West Indians, and Asians. You gotta give all praise and then glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh, Shah, the Most High, the Heavenly Father. His Hebrew name is Yahweh, not Yahweh, not Jehovah, not God, not Elohim, not Most High, not Lord, not Yah, not Jah, not Ahai, not Allah, not Abba, not Yahuwah. It's Yahweh. And his only got son name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Now Yahshua, not Yeshua, not Jesus Christos, not Jesus Christ, not Serapis Christos, not Yeshua, not Yehoshua, not Yehusha, it's Yahweh Shah. So you got to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rikak, Wadash. The bonus to the apostles and other bishops, that is a great millstone who will. Who teach well, who are the apostles and elders of Israel, ready to accept it or not. In a sense, it's salutation to hold on, pushing his truth and believing his truth with the four ends of the earth. The entire world shed light to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the Agua. Who are listening and learning, you few sisters who are listening and Come listen to another lesson of truth, fact, faith, and edification. Another day of edification, Lord, will be out of fire. Shalom to the Agua, who are listening and learning. You few sisters who are listening and learning. Come listen to another lesson again. In true faith, faith, and location, no data location, Lord willing to be able to find. Now, this was a video that I watched earlier yesterday morning when I woke up about five. This from a brother uh, in the Louisiana camp, uh, GMS Louisiana, GMS Fruit of Faith. And it was titled Mentor Registry for Digital. Hold on, let me click on this. It said, Mentor Registry for Digital Currency Transaction. Argentina just unveiled a mandatory registry for digital currency transactions. This is in Argentina. And um, the video that Elam Zaba did a few days ago. <clears throat> with this uh, chick that's in the army. And she said, I'm gonna play it. And I was just thinking about this because what Esau and them are doing is all the other countries, what it seems to be looking like, all the other countries is gonna mandate the sea hill first and Babylon gonna be the last country to do it. Let me play this. This one play the beginning of this. Now y'all should uh Elam not design about their lesson on this. It was titled She is Doomed. Hashtag MOTB, hashtag mark of the beast. Now I just want to get a few precepts. Because Jake thinks this is a game. <clears throat> Our people think this is a game. He said, what the hell? Yeah, man. friend in the world man <clears throat> when i first started teaching him about the truth 
I remember his his real said the same thing, man. She told me, she said, she gonna get it. She said, me and my baby's gonna eat. Me and my kids gonna eat. So we gonna take it. Jake, this is a game, man. So here it is. Argentina just said that. <clears throat> let me show this one again. Well, let me uh, read this one again. It's from the brother. Uh, I don't know the brother name. From the Louisiana camp. He says, uh, Argentina just unveiled a mandatory registry for digital currency transactions. Mandatory, man. See, this is what we waiting on. We waiting on the Lord to mand to mandate the micro C here, man. Then it's gonna be known who is the Lord's chosen. Cause it's 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 all good right now. Jake still get to eat. Now let me get this. Because it's the Lord that's doing this, man. Because Jake been living too comfortable for too long in captivity. And I was doing the lesson the yesterday and I was reading the scripture uh in additions to Esther five and eight. And it says uh that Jake ain't grieved that they are in bitter captivity, man. Jake don't think they in captivity. Niggas think they free, man. This is Isaiah 3 and 1. For behold, the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, do take away from Jerusalem and from Judah. That's why it's called Jacob's trouble. Do it take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff. The whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. And the stay and the staff. The staff represents protection, man. The stay. That's the you comfortable. See, that's still a hedge on Jake to still sit around and do certain things. Well, in this time, it's still going to be food. It just ain't going to be no food for Jake, man. It ain't going to be no food for Jake. So while they finna mandate to see him everywhere in these countries, every time you look up, you look up bricks. I can go to, I'm sure I can go right now. Let me go real quick. You can go right to one of these uh, articles. I'm just going to see real quick. If I go to Google, my little Google list, let me see if I can go to it real quick. It's going to say something about bricks in these nations. Oh, it's a lucky. Okay. Bricks in these nations. Somebody, um, see, this on my Google. It says, after bricks, three new countries ready to launch own currency. See, this is always in here. So uh, that's just one. It used to be more. See, BRICS, China unveils blockchain project to end U.S. dollar in trade. See, these, all these countries is going to digital. What is this? They got a new movie called Bambi, The Reckoning Trailer. Bambi. Uh, let's see. It's always some about these nations and currency, man. But this is where we at. Every nation, every country is gonna go digital. And it's uh conditioning through gradualism. They're forcing you into this digital payment system, man.
but hold on. See the video ain't showing. Let me see what's going on. Cause this I can on my side it's showing. see that with me here I don't know why it ain't showing is it showing now So, um, okay, okay, the water. I don't know what happened. Esau has. I just had to click out of it, click back on, because I had it. I got to say, well, you should be able to see the uh, blue letter. So, anyway, everywhere from to go digital. And, it, and how I was looking, every country going to go digital first, and then America going to be the last. So let me get this. Go back and read this again. Isaiah 3 1 for behold, the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, do have take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. And this is going to be Jacob's trouble. He said, do take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. And um, let's get Ezekiel. And Jacob's being conditioned. To use this man. Now here it is, this girl, and when it got this, and of course, without her husband even knowing about it, like the scripture talks about, uh, the man is the head of the house, man. But you still, it's still supposed to be some some brainstorming. She ain't even consider his. She didn't even consider his thought on what he thought about her going to do it. Tell the military made her get it. This is Ezekiel 4 and 16. He was mad, man. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water and be stunned one with another and consume away for that iniquity. It's a young Edomite at the plantation. And um, I was telling the other day to uh, hit me up with some, with some. And he was like, what time? I said, bro, it was yesterday morning. I said, after 12. I said, after 12, hit me up with some. Uh, I told him they had fixed me some after 12 o'clock. So, uh, he was like, you want it now? I was like, no, I don't eat till after 12. So he was like, what? I said, yeah, I don't eat nothing like after 7. The latest I might eat something is 8, but it may be like like a piece of fruit or something. I ain't want to eat nothing solid like after 7. So I said, I don't eat nothing till like 12 the next day. He was like, what? I said, yeah, you know. You know, the uh, breakfast, you know, we didn't eat breakfast in ancient time. And if you did, it was some light, like fruit or, or vegetable or something. Mostly fruit, if it was. But I said, that's where breakfast come from. It come from breaking your intimate fast, breaking your fast. He was like, no, I ain't know that. But he's supposed to be a Christian. He going to Christian Bible college and all this madness. And he said he ain't know that. I'm like, all right, I wasn't even to get into it with him because you're eating my. But, um. Yeah, man. People can't, like, you don't supposed to be eating nothing, man. Jake, get up and eat in the middle of the night. Chips, cookies, donuts. <laughs> These eaters might be coming to the plantation with donuts. They be telling me, that's all you want some donuts. No, nah, I don't want that shit. <laughs> I used to eat donuts back years ago. I used to mess Krispy Kremes up, man. And this guy at the warehouse like, you know, it's like 300 calories in a donut. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't know that. 
I was young then. I used to doing a thousand push-ups a day and three hundred squats and dips and pull-ups. I ain't give a damn. My mom, my, my, I used to burn that shit up. But now, no, I don't want none of that, man. Like Jake can't stop eating, and it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem, man. When you see you, when you mentally thinking, you ain't gonna Jake gonna go get that. They gonna go get that C help, man, because they wanna eat. Let me get this in translation. Jake can't go two hours without eating, man. Jake can't go an hour without eating something, man. That's just facts. Let me see. Um, so this is uh, the NIV. It reads, Ezekiel uh, 4 and 16. Then said he to me, son of man, I am about to cut off the food supply in Jerusalem. The people will eat rationed food and anxiety and drink ration water in despair. And they show you the movie selling uh selling green, man. The food was being rationed, man. Jake don't think this is gonna happen, but it's really, really about to happen, man. This is uh ESV more always selling to me, son of man. Behold, I will break the supply of bread in Jerusalem. They shall eat bread by weight and with anxiety, and they shall drink water by measure. And in this May, yeah, man, there was another one. Let me see the NET say. NET, then he said it to me, son of man, I am about to remove the bread supply in Jerusalem. They will eat their bread ration anxiously, <laughs> and they will drink their water ration in terror. Let me get the next verse. Verse 17. Jake think this is a game, man. Esau is finna, the Lord is finna use this bastard to really do this, man. Cause Jake been too comfortable. Like it. Hold on here. Verse 17. Let me see. Let this is verse 17, it reads in the NIV. For food and water will be scarce. They will be appalled at the sight of each other and will waste away because of their sin. See? Because of their sin, man. ESV reads, I will do this that they may lack bread and water and look at one another in dismay and rot away because of their punishment. See? What punishment? Jake don't want to repent, man. And they think they're going to always have this food, man. And even those that do take the sea help, it's going to be even worse. The CSB reads, for lack of bread and water, everyone will be devastated and waste away because of their iniquity. Let me get the NET. NET reads, because they will lack bread and water, each one will be terrified and will rot for their iniquity. Man, this is terrifying, man. This is terrifying to think about not going without food. And you know I'm just mentioning this. When the Lord have us to do the day of atonement, you don't have no food for 24 hours. That's something that's good for the body, man. And see after that, I never forget, man. After my first time doing that, the intimate fasting thing kicked in. Listen to the apostles about how you should. And the apostle Bob mentioned this recent, maybe some months ago, about intimate fasting. He was like, some brothers, he said, sometimes he might do like between the seven to 12, and then sometimes he might go to one, one or two. And uh, after, you know, from seven at night to one or two o'clock the next day. Man, that's that's training your body. We're going to eat when I want to eat. But Jake is that flesh, man. See, that's controlling your flesh. When you learn how to intimate fast, that's you taking over your flesh and your your spirit taking over, man. This is uh, Ezekiel 5, because there's one in Ezekiel 5 as well. 
some just some points I was just thinking about, man. Just seeing these, seeing these, uh, these uh, articles, and then knowing the precepts is here, man. This is Ezekiel five. Oh, hold on, what's it spelled wrong? I did. <clears throat> See these articles come out, then you know what the precepts said. You're like, man, the Lord really finna do this, man. This is Ezekiel 5. And yeah. 16 it reads. When I shall send upon them the evil, the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and I will send and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread. So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. And I will bring the sword upon thee, I, Yahweh, have spoken. Now this is verse 16. Let's get this one in the, in the, in the NIV reads, when I shoot at you, my deadly and destructive arrows of famine, I will shoot to destroy you. I will bring more and more famine upon you and cut off your supply of food. See? Why is the Lord talking about this, man? Why is these scriptures mentioned? <clears throat> and the one guy is that Elder not Zappo was doing the lesson on, which is, was a repost of these this guy curtis this false prophet talk about it ain't gonna be no jacob's trouble the scriptures is there man how can you twist jacob's trouble man when it's talking about every man hands on their lawns like a woman in travail you can't twist that man let me get uh when you go to And it's all over scripture. Hey, Shalom's upon y'all about your mouth, Shah Barakata. Shalom. GMS why you buy. Shalom's upon. And all to the Akim Abbaf tuning in. Yeah, about your mouth, Shah Barakata. Shalom. And um, you got Isaiah 65. Why is the Lord saying this? Let's read this. Why would it be in the scriptures about being able to have food if, if it's not important, man? And they're going to mandate, like, just like the article the brother did in Louisiana, Argentina is making it. At Argentina, let me read it again. Because <clears throat> they're making it mandatory and they're doing it through conditioning. Jake Love, the Apple Watch, and Always upgrading the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy. Jake don't got to have no wallets and no purses. It's convenient. It feels good to just leave your house with just your phone and keys. Soon you ain't going to need none of that, man, because a lot of people already got the chip. A lot of people already cranking up their cars with it, opening their doors to their homes. So you don't got to leave the house with nothing, man. And then, uh, in the movie, in the movie, uh, the new uh, Total Recall with Colin Farrell. They got the chip in their hand, man. And they using their hand for their phone. And you just hold, you open your hand up and the keypad is in your hand. You, you just dial whatever number and put your phone to your ear, man. Or you could just <laughs> put it on speaker. So you, you just <laughs> put it on speaker. And you just walking around talking. Then you don't got no phone, man. They showed you that in the movie Total Recall, the new one. With Colin Farrell, man. This is where we going. Or this is where they are going. Because I ain't going with them. Lord willing. But this is where Esau is going, man. This is uh, Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Who, who is the ye that's going to be hungry then? Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed hold on when you go to lamentation 
why are these scriptures why are these scriptures in the bible man if they ain't important this is limitations 4 and 9 it reads as a matter of fact before i read this one let me get the one in second ezra 16. now this one reads this is second Ezra 16 it reads for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Why is this here? Why is this scripture here, man? For many of them, 2 Ezra 16 and 22, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So though you get away from the famine, you don't perish. There's another way you're going to die. Here it is, Lamentation 4 and 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for once of the fruits of the field. And I read Ezekiel 4 and one in Ezekiel 5. The Lord said they shall rot away when he take away the food. They shall rot away for their iniquity. How do you rot away? Famine. And Jake, this is a game, man. But the Lord is serious. Why are these scriptures in the scriptures, man? This is Psalms. Because as the title is, only the righteous will be covered in Jacob's trouble. Only the righteous will have access to food, man. Everybody else is going to either be dead or dying off. Or somebody, or you gonna be getting eat on, man, in that time. And most of these babies that's coming back gonna be food, man. This is uh Psalms 37. I'm gonna start at verse 18. I just want to grab some of these out of here. This is Psalms 18. It reads, Yahweh knoweth the days of the upright. She is the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, right? Evil time, evil, evil, right? Bad time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Who is the day? Right here, the upright. This is uh, verse 25. I have been young and now am old. You have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Because <laughs> this was telling the Lord, so he's taking away the bread. This is verse 37. It reads, Mark the perfect man and behold the upright. See, this is about the upright. For the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of Yahweh. He is their strength in the time of trouble. See? Because this is what's coming. Jacob's trouble, man. And Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Two-thirds of Jake is moving through their flesh, which the so-called white man taught him. The so-called white man taught Jake to uh, exercise the same way how Yahweh Shema shot. Has the whole flag exercise of the spirit, like continuing Galatians 5, 16 and 17. The so-called white man has trained two-thirds of our people to trust in the flesh. And you gotta do what's what what feels good, what feels right to you. This is what you gotta do. But most of the time when JB thinking that be the flesh talk, they ain't the spirit, man. And that's why the Lord is training the whole flag to exercise the spirit. Because most of the time, that be that flesh, man. 
And if you ain't exercising your spirit, <laughs> the flesh going to take over every time. This is uh, 2 Ezra 2. In 26, it reads, as, from, as for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall no one, there shall not one of them fail, a salakia, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number, from among the rest of Jake, the separation, the one third and the two third. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble in heaven is coming, others shall weep and be sorrowful. That's what it just said in Isaiah 65. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee. See if you howl. My hand shall cover thee. So that thy children should not see hell, which is hell is the grave, man, are going through another a tribulation, another affliction, a trial. Because the Lord got us going through that now. Lord willing, we endure to the end. But you're going through your trials and tribulations, your adversities and afflictions now. So in Jacob's trouble, the elect going to be covered, man. Let's get the one in Job. The Lord ain't got you going through this now for nothing. You're going through these sufferings now. So when Jacob trouble come, you ain't got to worry about that. What is that? Uh, let me see. This is Job chapter 5. In verse 20 it reads, In famine he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither should thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. You're gonna laugh? This is heavy, man. Neither should thou be afraid of the beast of the field. Right here, I love to read this. For thou shalt be in league. With the stones of the field. What's in league? What stones? When you go to Lamentations 4, the Lord say, Oh, let me get this. Show you who this talking about being a part of. And it's the elect. Let's get this. Isaiah 62 and 10. Again, it's a uh, Job 5 and 23, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation, and shall not sin. So let's go to this, Isaiah 62 and 10, it reads. Go through, go through the gates, prepare you the way of the people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a stand up for the people. These stones, this is an invitation. First and foremost is the men of Israel, the elect, whoever they are, the tabernacle of David, man, these stones, the building blocks to the kingdom. This is limitation four and one. It reads, how has the gold become dim? How has the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. What are these stones that scatter throughout, that's poured out on top of every street? It's the men scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, Israel overall. But the men are the tabernacle of David. It says that's poured out in the top of every street. The stones is the men, man. The tabernacle of David. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hand of the potter, which Yahweh did it. So these stones, now it's in Job, that thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. Job 5 and 23. 
but thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. Every time I read this, I think about the Justice League, man. Right? Superman, Batman with his no heaven power ass, but Superman and all the other Aquaman, right? The league, <laughs> the real Justice League, man. The real aristocrats, the real Illuminati, the Illuminati ones, man. For, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. That's the Lord saying. These here that's going to be laughing at famine. Job 5 and 20. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge. Now I tell you in um, Isaiah 28, those that uh, made a covenant with death and they held out of that agreement. When the old flowing scourge shall come through, it shall pass by them. The Lord say no. When you read uh, verse 16 on down in uh, Isaiah 28, 15 through 19, the Lord say no. The scourge shall take them from morning, from, from, by, from morning and by night. It shall take them only for them to understand the report. What's the report? That your ass ain't repent, man. That you didn't trust in your heart by Shema So it say, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh, at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the field, but thou shalt be in league with the stones of the so like Thou shalt not be afraid of the beasts of the earth, but thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So, you animals, you going man, you gonna see Jake getting devoured out here, man. But you're going to be good. Let me get this in Psalms. Lord willing, man. In Psalms 91. It reads, see, security of the one who trusts in the Lord, man. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save Yahweh. He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. And Esau is the fowler, man. The snare is traps. He will cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth. Shall be thy shield and buckler, which is the arm of the Lord, man. Putting on the whole arm of Yahweh Shema Shah. Now, why the evil days come not? Like it said, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. That's those intercontinental ballistic missiles. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Let me tell you when uh, was that Psalms 34 and 7. They that fear you how about Shema was shy, angels and camp around them, man. This is verse 8. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And that's two thirds of Jake. This is going to be getting knocked off, man. Because. Thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Do you understand what habitation is, man? This is what you're supposed to be doing now. Right now. Well, you got time to be to make Yahweh your habitation. You got to put on the whole arm of Yahweh Shai, man. In Ephesians 6. <clears throat> you got to put on the whole arm of the Lord, man. That's how you know you'll be covered. Not knowing you'll be covered, but if you is totally cons if you are totally consumed every day with Yahweh Shema Washa, what you think gonna happen, man? But Jake think this is a game, and these, but I've been saying this a lot. Two third got leaders, man. We need Nate. We need Sabak. We need uh uh what Tazariak. We need. A recall from GOCC, we got to have these guys. We got to have all these TD snakes and stuff, low dollars. We need them, man. Because the Lord said, I'm going to come back to this. In 1 Corinthians 
We need these guys, man. This showing you who's teaching sound doctrine. This is First Corinthians 11, 19. For there must be also heresies among you. That they which are approved may be made manifest among you. Who's approved? The apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers of GMS. This is the Lord. These are those who the Lord has approved for you to get sound, <clears throat> sound doctrine. But there must be also heresies among you that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. Elder Manat Nazarba just did a lesson with these people talking about the, the alphabet community, man. How they supposed to, they, they got rights. This should, it should be this way. No, it ain't. The Lord said he loves Sodom and Gomorrah for an example of what not to do and how not to live. But they, that's supposed to, it's supposed to be that way. But that's in the 501c3. I was reading the other day. It said you can't, you can't discriminate nobody coming into your church. So that's a part of that. Jesus love everybody. Come as you are, doctor, man. That's part of the 501c3. So they supposed to say that, man. It's supposed to be this way. Everything that Nate and everybody else is doing is supposed to be this way because it's supposed to be heresies among us. This is the balance of Yahweh Shema Bashar, man. It's supposed to be this way. That's why I stopped getting mad at these guys. <laughs> Stop flipping out, man. Because as it said in Isaiah 45 and 9, you striving against your maker. Yeah, how about Shema Bashar is doing that, man? Because two-thirds got leaders, man. Two-thirds got leaders, man. So going back to this. Go back, pull it back up. I'm in the back out the preset, but I'm back out the screen yard. Let me back up to uh, what was I? At? Oh, Psalms 91. So the lock is. I think I was at verse nine. And then this verse is heavy because, which I'm going to read. I'm just going to read it. So right here, it says again, Psalm 91 and 9, because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. To make something your habitation, let's get this word habitation. You is engulfed in it, man. Like you, <laughs> this is where you at 24-7. It's a dwelling, habitation, refuge, layer, right? It got an abode of God, the tabernacle or the temple. They say they got men right there. That's heavy because in Isaiah 32, it said man shall be a hiding place. See right here, say men, their home, their lair, a retreat, a solemn, den, dwelling, habitation. That's fire, man. For it to even have me in it here, man. See it right there? Because that's Isaiah 32. Me, a man shall be as a high place from the wind. So then you got another precept in Psalms. Let's get this one real quick. Psalms 27 and 5. These scriptures are here for a reason, man. The Bible is our comforter. The Holy Spirit guides you to understand the comforter, man. Psalms 27 5, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me well in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. See? Yeah, man. 
let's go back to uh, Psalms 9 and 1. And Tina reads, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. That word dwelling was another word for habitation. Right here, 11 reads, For he shall give his angels charge over thee. What? That's, that's that Psalm 94 and 7. I uh, Psalm 34 and 7. They that trust the Lord, his angels encamp around them, right? They shall, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, least, right here, least thy dash thy foot against the stone. What does this mean to dash your foot against the stone? You come against you come against the truth. If you come against the truth, if you haven't made Yahweh Shema Rashad your habitation now, you ain't gonna make it, man. It said they shall bear thee up in their hands, the angels, least thy dash thy foot against a stone. And this stone is Yahweh Shah. Coming against the truth, coming against the Lord, then you ain't gonna be covered, man. Let me get on. So these people is mandating this digital currency everywhere and is forcing Jake into a corner, man. The ones that either you're going to take, either you're going to take it or you ain't. And right now, if you living in these countries, what you going to do? If you live in Argentina, what can you do? You don't got no choice. You got to roll with the system. Otherwise, how are you going to get your money, man? This is what they're doing. They're conditioning you through gradualism. Got Jake jumping on. Everything is easier to just, right now, to just use your phone. Right? Just swipe your phone and you can go on. on. Then you're going to be swapping your hands soon. I was thinking about... Um, Oh, let me get this before I close, while I just remember. Let me get this, right, because in Revelation, in Revelation 13, in verse 15, let's read this. I need to stop. I meant to open, blow this back up. Let's go back. So in Revelation 13 and 15, it reads this. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast the beast the image of the beast is this system which he's with this which the so-called white man has conditioned two-thirds of jake to cleave to that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed right so if you don't cleave to this system if you don't conform and comply to this system then you're going to be killed and what's real key about this word kill, Elder Yashwoman made this point. When you go to this word kill here, there's two definitions for this word kill. There is. So you got right here, there's two definitions right here for the word kill. It's G2443. Let me show you this one first. So when you go here to G2443, it say, in order that denoting the purpose or the result, albeit because to the intent, least so as, when you go to this 1438, 
Let me see, it may be G35, hold on. Right, so one of the words here say obsolete in the, it's a in the genitive case, it got obsolete. Um, it says, okay, that's, that's one, the word obsolete, that's death. So you got to go back and get the other one. So let me show you. So you had, that was 1438. This one is G3588. Let's go to this one. This one say, only significant renderings other than the counted, right? So if you're not one of these significant ones that didn't comply, conform, you won't be counted. Now right here it say, sometimes to be supplied, it say at others omitted, okay? When you look up this word omitted, let's look this word omitted up. Let me show you. <clears throat> omitted. Here's the definition of omit, leave out or exclude someone or something, either intentionally or forgetfully. See, right here, it says sometimes to be supplied at others, omitted, omitted, only significant renderings other than the counted, right? Let's get the other definition. So when you go back to this word killed, Here's the other one. Lock it. So right here, I just gave you G2443. It said to be omitted, excluded, purposely. This other one is G615 for the word kill. So as I mentioned, you could be literally killed or you could just be having no resources. It says to kill in any way, whatever, to destroy, allow to perish, to extinguish, abolish, to inflict mortal death. It says to deprive of spiritual life and procure eternal misery in hell. Nope. So right here it says to kill outright, figuratively to destroy, put to death. Right, this G575, let's go to this. It's a literal or figurative. It got on um, right here of separation. See, of local separation at the verbs of motion from a place, i.e., of the pardon of fleeing, of separation of a part from the whole. See, you're going to be omitted, man. It's a of any kind of separation of one thing from another by which the union or fellowship of the two is destroyed, of a state of separation. That is of distance. So you ain't going to be a part of the state of this system, man. See? Now, let's go back and get this. In 2 uh, Corinthians, and I'm going to close up. Just was thinking about this. 2 Corinthians 4, right? It reads, St. Corinthians 4 and 8, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, right? This word perplexed, <laughs> these devils, man, they ain't, gonna, they, ain't gonna, they ain't gonna kill you. All they gotta do is take away your access to food, and you're gonna 
So you're going to destroy yourself, man. Which is the Lord doing it, because the Lord is taking away the bread, the food, the comfort. This is the word resources, right? It say, I mean, this is the word for uh, perplexed. To be without resources, to be in straits, to be left wanting, to be embarrassed, to be in doubt, not to know which way to turn. To be at a loss with oneself, be in doubt, not to know how to decide or what to do. To be perplexed is say to have no way out. See, to be at a loss mentally, be at a loss mentally, man. This is what the Lord doing. So he's conditioning these kings of these nations to push digital in their country. In America, the Lord is saving the best for last. That's why I tell you in Isaiah 47, in Isaiah 47, the Lord say, what's that, verse 9? Let me read it. Let me get this. This is Isaiah 47 and 9. See, the Lord is saving the best for the last, man. That's going to be America. It reads, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The laws of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. The perfection is coming to America. So the Lord saving the best for last. So we watching. And right here in America, most people don't even, most places don't even use cash, man. You got to use a card or your phone. Some people in America, some businesses, whatever business that's left, they don't even take cash, man. They using they either swiping your phone or tapping your phone or you tapping your card with a chip in it, man. And why is there a chip in the credit cards? It was no chip in the credit card 10 years ago because the Lord is drawing this thing closer, man. We getting close, close to the edge. We getting close to the edge, man. Lord willing, we endure to the end. So, yeah, I just make some points. Lord, what's edifying? You got to give all praises and glory to you. How will Bahashim, Yahweh Bahashim, Rekha Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elder bishops and elders of great millstone, who well, who teach well, who are the apostles and elders of all of Israel, ready to accept it or not, in a sense of salutation to all the occupants. Pushing this truth and believing this truth with the four winds of the earth, the entire world, shedding light to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the Akwath who are listening and learning. If your sisters who are listening and learning, who are tuning in. May you have Shema with Shah continue blessing your houses. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. Till next time I say Shalom. Wa ba ba ba.